Hello everyone and welcome to my Excel spreadsheet for my MLB Super League uh, project that I've been doing for a few years and the spreadsheet has been going on and I've been building on it for a few years and my MLB Super League basically encompasses these uh, 33 main teams and I've ranked them. I have them by winning percentage here, and I show uh, records for team batting, team at ERA, and leaders here, which are all uh, derived from different tabs in the worksheet. And then I display the top 10 or however many here in the leaders board. And then over here, <clears throat> I put in the next two teams that I'm playing, and the 22... 2022 Orioles are a team that I've just brought in since um, they've been released by APA and uh, National Pastime Next Generation. Kind of like an exhibition series, but the games are counting. It's like a guest team, and they've actually gone 3-0 and so far. Uh, I first paired them against the 69 Cubs. They won that game. Then the 68 Cardinals, and they won that game. And then the 2008 Phillies, they won that game. So I'm moving up a little bit to play them against the 74 Athletics next, and it's just great fun. So when I put in the two teams that are playing, it will go through and in my uh, pull up the pitching, um, uh, the, bowl, the, the t team pitchers for each team, and that will be coming from this pitching master tab that has uh, all the team's pitching records and statistics in it. So it will pull up the two teams that are playing, and it shows me uh, their records and statistics. And it has uh, my fatigue system built in here. The red indicates that they cannot play. Uh, they cannot, they're not able, they're not eligible to pitch in this game. And if I can use them in a desperate situation, I will. But generally, I don't use them if they're in the red. And this is how many games they've played and when this pitcher will become eligible. So when they reach game 11, which will be this next one they're playing, then Vita Blue will turn green, as will David Hamilton, who is the next scheduled pitcher in this four-man rotation. I mark the team, the pitcher that is going to pitch in the game by putting in a V for visitor and H for home here. And um, actually, that should be... He's pitched three, the O's have played three games, so the pitcher today will be Spencer Watkins. Now that will translate over to my score sheet over here as, um, <clears throat> as you can see, the uh, starting pitchers are now placed here uh, in the game statistics area of the score sheet for the pitchers. And so we'll have Ken Holtzman, and it's actually pulling from my spreadsheet their record and ERA. Uh, so Ken Holtzman for the 74 A's will be pitching against Spencer Watkins for the 2022 Orioles. And if I move over to the left here, uh, this is where I'll keep score during the game, and it'll display the team cards for whatever game I'm playing. And this happens to be National Pastime Next Generation. But I can uh, switch to APBA, Flip Card Baseball, National Pastime, Next Generation, Status Pro Baseball, Season Ticket, and Time Travel. And so right now I'm playing National Pastime, Next Generation. So when I click into the box, it's searching for those cards to display uh, for each person in the lineup. So if uh, Bill North was to lead off the inning with a strikeout. My statistics for each pitcher will be uh, calculated over here in my spreadsheet. And you can see that for Spencer Watkins, he now has a strikeout and he's faced one batter. So when I get, go to put in their uh, statistics, yeah, so when I go to put in their statistics, uh, like innings pitched, I can put in and then all I have to do is follow right along here with runs, uh, hits, walks, and strikeouts. So if I put a strikeout in here, it'll reset that to zero. And then as I bring in the next pitcher, his statistics will be here. 
and when I go to fill this out, I'll just fill out, I'll follow whatever's left here. So he faced one batter, say I took him out, this would reset to zero, and those, this down here would then be the numbers for the next pitcher. And I have a button that will clear statistics here after the game is over and just reset everything. And you can see it, it clears my uh, scoring area. So I just put in here, you know, if they got a single or a fly out or a strike out. And I can put F9 or F7 if I want in there. I just do that, ground ball. And actually it keeps track of my outs here too. So then I would just go down and bring up uh, Cedric Mullins for the bottom of the first, and it'll bring up uh, the baseball card and the um, playing card for whatever game I'm playing. And so if I was to switch to, uh, I don't have a whole lot of uh, APA cards in yet, flip card baseball, I might have the 74 athletics, not sure. It would bring them up, yeah. I, oh, I'm sorry, it just has the 2022 Orioles. So I would just have to, uh, just download the PDF for the 74 athletics and digitally cut the cards to individuals with the uh, name of the file being the name of the player. And then those cards will pop up here. So what I do is I, uh, I digitally cut from the PDFs all the player cards, which I've gotten really good at. I can do a team in maybe five or ten minutes. And so... Um, for each game that I have that I want to represent in my Excel spreadsheet, uh, I have a folder of the player cards. So I have time travel, status pro, flip card, season ticket, uh, APA football, uh, and, and NPNG, uh, National Pastime Next Generation, and APA. So if I go into flip card, and these cards are freely available on the flip card download site, um, Andrew's made, um, I think, every season from 1954 on. So these are the ones I've downloaded. You can see I do have the Orioles uh, team cards in there. I generally use the uh, nine starters for my lineup and then uh, five starting pitchers, a closer, and a few relievers is uh, generally my team makeup. So that's how I... Um, organize my team cards for each of the games that I want to play. And so uh, I've, I've evolved my spreadsheet to now be able to use this one score sheet and just choose the game that I want to play. So, um, so for flip card, say if I wanted to play a game of flip card, I am pretty sure that I have 2008 Phillies and um, what team did I just see in there? Well, it has the 2022 Orioles, too. And you can see the lineups are now changed. And now when I go to display, um, or to click in a box to record a result for Shane Victorino, it'll bring up his card and his baseball card for flip card baseball. And I've set it up so it'll arrange the correct dice for each game. Um, so if I were to switch to, um, you can see that flip card uses two, let me get back in here, flip card uses uh, two uh, eight sided, I'm sorry, nine, 10 sided die. So that's what you'll see in there. And then I provide two results just to have a backup. So that's 2D10. And so for National Pastime Next Generation, which I do not have the Phillies for, I'm going to put it back to the 74 Athletics. Now for National Pastime Next Generation, I do have the Athletics, so it'll bring their cards up, and it'll bring me 2D6 and then a backup 2D6 as needed. And of course, uh, season ticket, I believe I only have 1976 season, so you, neither one of these teams will come up. But it'll bring up, um, if I wanted to play season ticket, for instance, I believe I have the 75 Reds in my Super League and the 75 Red Sox in my Super League. 
right so that's what they would look like and then I would assign the pitcher with the V and the H based on which pitcher um, is due in the rotation and I go to my score sheet select season ticket over here and it would bring up the cards here they're a little smaller but I can read them and it would give me my uh, D6 here and two D10s, which are used in um, season ticket baseball. As I move to each cell to move between batters, I get a fresh roll. I think that's pretty cool. And down here, if I uh, incorporate uh, History Maker Baseball, I'll have my umpire here. And I noticed that on flip card baseball it was, sometimes it wants a 50-50 call on an out. Uh, and it's just a certain aspect of um, flip card baseball. Sometimes there's a, a rare play and it'll say, oh, it's a 50-50 call. So I incorporated a little umpire out safe on a 50-50 um, formula basis there. So uh, I had to figure out how to display the correct pitching and batting cards. So I have now pitching here and that's the picture it'll bring up when I switch to the home team it'll switch to now pitching Jack Billingham so it'll put the correct picture up there so that was kind of cool and so my pitching statistics will go here uh, I have put some results in here for the first inning for Reggie Cleveland uh, who was theoretically pitched the first inning here so if I was to take him out, for instance, I would go through and start entering his statistics before I put the new uh, relief pitcher's name in. And he had one inning pitched. And I can just look right down here and get my statistics as I'm going along. He had no earned runs. He gave up one hit. No walks. A K. And he faced four batters. And then that will reset these to zero. And that will be, then I'll be ready to go. I'll put the uh, new relief pitcher's name here and put the H down here. And then it'll bring, so um, say the relief pitcher was Bill Lee. Oop. I would have to put uh, an H there for the page to know who the current home pitcher is and take this one out because that will confuse it. And then, so when it comes time to registering Bill Lee's statistics, I'll just put in his innings pitched. And then um, all the new stats from the score sheet will go there. And you can see it's put Bill Lee up here. And now it'll bring up his card. So that's how my Excel spreadsheet has, has evolved so far. So I just want to show you that. And just to show you how it works, say Dan Dreesen hits a home run here with two RBIs. Say there was two people on base. I have an area over here uh, that will bring up my uh, box score numbers. And you can see that Dan Dreesen got a home run with two RBIs. But I can literally copy that and go over here to my uh, master batting tab and find my 75 Orioles. And you can see the players and their statistics. I can go over here and just do a cool paste special values and add and hit OK, which I will not do. And it will just uh, tally and add their statistics straight in right there that easy with just a simple uh, copy and paste. And then it'll increase all their, it's basically running statistics there. And they have more statistics than, than is listed here because there was an old way I was doing it um, where I would have to actually paste the uh, score sheets over to the right here, but I don't have to do that anymore. I can just grab those statistics from the game score sheet, copy, and now just paste them in this one area and do the paste, special paste uh, values add, and it'll keep a running tally there. So that's pretty cool. So anyway, I just wanted to give an update on my uh, progress with my Excel spreadsheet for playing games and how I've incorporated uh, the ability to pull my digitally cut uh, game cards from these games right here so far into my Excel spreadsheet uh, quickly and easily. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the forums.